Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today we're going to populate the marina with boats, boats, boats. If you've seen a real life marina, then you'll know that these things get filled to the absolute brim with boats. They don't waste any space at all. Obviously it costs quite a lot to have a boat, so they cram as many in as possible. So that's what I intend to do here, and these are a number of boats that I've got from a number of different sets over the years. The first one is a small one. It's the imaginatively titled Speedboat, set 4641 from 2011. It only has 34 pieces and sold for £4 or $5 in the US. It's got a bit of a different shape. I like it, and it can go there. Next along is a slightly larger but still small speedboat and this is the one from the Swamp Police set Helicopter Pursuit and it's got this really interesting teeth sticker because I think it was a swamp boat so it's sort of a bit of a crocodile or alligator type sort of motif going on there but it's got really interesting colours and it'll go well next to the other one. So this one's set 60067 from 2015. Okay. Next small one. I really like this one. It's the Race Boat. Another imaginative title. Set 60114 from 2016. This one went for £8 or $10. I just think it looks awesome. I may have this racing out at sea when I've got some more sea and area for this to go shooting in between my bridges or something like that. But for now, I'm going to put it in the marina. Right, so that's looking pretty busy that bit now. So let's focus on the middle section here. This is the diving yacht from 2019 this year. Set 60221, has 148 pieces, £18 or $20. It's really cool. This came with the sawfish shark that I've used on my marina building. It also uh, came with a lot of accessories, two divers, an undersea mini build and so on. And I'd really recommend it. I mean, it it's, just looks exactly like the sort of boat it represents. I've taken the crew off because they'll be at home or wherever they'll be and I've put two of the diving boys on the back so that can go in there. And it's good now because I've got some at that angle and some at right angles to them which is very good. Next in line is another imaginatively titled fishing boat. This is set 4642 from 2011, 64 pieces. £14 or $20 and I really love these wave stickers both on the hull here and on the upper bit there so they're really good and maybe this is just docked and dispatched the people who are fishing so I've got a dad with a camera and his life vest still on and son with his life vest holding a fish and maybe they're posing on the key side. In a little scene. Next I've got sort of luxury speedboat. Now this was part of a bigger set, Coast Guard HQ set from 2017. That's set 60167. This was the ship that was floundering against the rocks in that set. And it's got very large engines as you'll see on the back, which I sort of like, but does mean that it won't really fit very well in my marina. So I've made the executive decision to remove both of those and I'm going to replace the 
grabbers, which now look like they're not holding onto anything, with similar ones with rungs on, because then at least it looks like something that might help you get in and out of the boat. So a lot of these boats would have their engines inside the hull anyway, so I don't think that really makes it look too much worse. In fact, those engines were a bit ridiculously big. I really like this boat because it's got four seats on it, so it's just another different variation. So we've got diving, fishing, and pleasure boat. And while we're talking about different types of boating, another thing I quite fancy putting in as a bit of scenery is this sign, Mrs. Puff's Boating School. Now this is from a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants set, but it'll be a nice bit of appropriate advertising for me to have as more decoration on the marina's edge. Now another boat I have of this size is the sailboat rescue boat. Now this one is different again because it's got a sail which is very colourful, very nice, but it's a bit well, it lost the competition basically. It's the most boring of the four, so I haven't got room for this, so this will have to get used at sea later on in my city development. So that was from set 60168 Sailboat Rescue, and it came with a Coast Guard dinghy that was trying to save the stricken ship, and that's from 2017. Now that leaves us with one large slot here, and for that, the pièce de résistance is set 31083, Cruising Adventures, from 2018. Now this is a set with 597 pieces and sold for only £45, or $60. And I managed to get it reduced on Amazon for about £33. So I mean, it was just an amazing deal for the number of pieces in here. It also came with three side builds, a beach, uh, another sort of sandcastle beach thing, and a jet ski, which I've just sort of parked on the back. So it's an excellent set, and I definitely recommend it. I think it's still available for purchase new, uh, and it's a really good fun build with a lot of bricks on the side techniques and so on, and it just looks fantastic. I originally thought it would be too big for my city, but on looking at it a bit more closely, I realised that I could fit it in, and I've got... Uh, a nice lady having a sunbathe on the front and a guy having a lolly on the bridge. And that can fit just in there. It's almost like I planned it. Now moving to the left hand side, regular viewers will know that this spot is going to be taken with a very large vessel, the key, but I've still got room here for one to be doing a drop off or something like that. So I'm going to use the fishing boat, another brilliantly named set from 2017. I really like this one's big sport fishing stickers down the side and it looks really authentic as well if you've ever seen these boats. Came with 144 pieces, 18 pounds or 20 dollars. So this one also has rather huge engines on it, which I think detract from it a bit. And if you've ever done fishing, you'll know that you don't have big propeller engines off the back because the line will get tangled in them and you won't get any or many fish. So I'll take those off just to make it look a bit more realistic in size and have that one just coming in. Excellent. Okay, bit of a short video, but quite a productive one. We've looked at part of, or the entire of, eight different sets there. Bit low on the modifications, but nonetheless important, because look how great our pack marina looks. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think we'll be focusing on the town square, which is about here.
See you next time.